This is pretty interesting. Another update video within the same day. I borrowed 16 DVDs and 5 Blu-rays from my local library today. So let's get started. Now I'm in the US, but also the UK and Australia. This series was originally released in the US by Neon and was released on Hulu. Now, what's weird is that the 13 plus rating says oh, yeah, violence, even though it's supposed to say violence. Oh, yeah. Which I've never seen that error before in my entire life. Sony Pictures Classics Week, call me a United Artist. This next one's a brand new release from last year. This movie I saw in theaters on the day of its release, and this was a fucking awesome movie right here. So I'm definitely going to rewatch it at some point. Paramount movie, Call Me at Entertainment One. I believe this is also a Canadian co-production. If I'm not mistaken. I do know this movie was a box office bomb, though, but they're actually doing a sequel with a smaller budget. Spy number 658. This is the only Criterion Collection DVD I borrowed. 969 movie from Paramount. In order to background noise, just my dog bar it's just my dog that's barking again. This is the sequel to the 2014 movie, The Equalizer, which I borrowed the Blu-ray of that. I did the opening to this on Tevia. Columbia Pictures movie. And unlike the first Equalizer movie, which was 16 plus violence, this one's ties only through violence. Along with the third movie. Still have no idea why the first Equalizer movie was, sizzle, was 16 plus in Quebec. This we heard a lot of really good things about, so I might give it a watch. And a lot of companies produced this movie, as you can see. Neon movie, Call Me with Gozi, Egbo, 30 West, Braun Creative, Foxtail Entertainment, Phantom 4 Films, Creative Wealth Media, and Diver Content, and Refinery 29, and released on DVD by Elevation Pictures. And this movie is written and directed by Sam Levinson, who is best known for creating the HBO shows, the, the shows Euphoria and The Idol. And I think this movie was also 16 plus in Quebec. They did have the other two movies, but I decided to borrow this because of one reason. And that is this, R in Canada... This movie was originally released by TriStar Pictures. But it was released on DVD by Mongrel since for some reason they had the rights to the home video rights to these movies in Canada at one point. This way I've seen on Netflix, and this was a really, really terrible movie. Screen Gems movie, Columbia Mythology Entertainment. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. I had to go eat dinner. Screen Media Films movie, Call Me a Big Beach. Released on DVD by Red Envelope Entertainment, which I think was a division of Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. Former division of Netflix. This movie features Owen Wilson, so that's why I got it. Wow. <laughs> Bolt Films will be released on DVD by VVS Films. I believe this movie was originally released by Lionsgate in the US. Originally released by Lionsgate. Fox Searchlight Pictures movie coming to Film 4. Not in the US, but also the UK. <clears throat> Let's 
1927 German movie. Now, there was a version of this movie the which um was cut that that was cut down, which that was the version that was that was um available for many years. The original version of this movie was actually lost to time, but uh, a copy was discovered in Argentina at one point. Which makes this now the second lost film that I have borrowed. The other one being um, the Joan of the, the Joan of Arc one. I forgot the name of it. The one that was found in a mental asylum. This DVD is released by Helltown Pictures and Micro Cinema International DVD. I don't know who originally released this movie. Colonial Silver Pictures. Now, for some reason, this got a PG in Canada, even though this movie's rated R in the U.S. As you can see, right there. Quebec movie. Nineteen eighty six France movie released on DVD by Co by Cock Vision. Same with Metropolis. And now for the five Blu rays. I do know Rafi Dusa has this DV has this on DVD. And I heard this movie is not very good, but I figured I'd borrow it just to do the opening. This is another universal Blu-ray from Studio Distribution Services. I don't know why they keep making the Fast and Furious movies. If I'm being honest. I don't know why they keep making them. There's like two other sequels that are coming out. It's like, come on guys, just stop. Call me a Blumhouse. Another CD Distribution Services Blu-ray. I did the opening to this on Super Ecom. And this is another movie that was PG in Canada or in the US, just like Conspiracy Theory. And on Super Ecom, this was 13 plus long, uh, vulgar language. Well, this well, on the Blu-ray it says it's G the Conseiller en jeune enfant. Lionsgate premiere movie released on Blu-ray by VVS Films. And now for the last Blu-ray. I do know this movie also aired on Super Ecom. On Super Con, this was 13 plus violence and vulgar language, but it's actually G des Consignes en Jeunes Enfants. Participant Media, DreamWorks Pictures, will be released by Focus Features.